to the ocean. As ocean water evaporates, the salt is left behind. How thirsty is a tree? On a summer's day, an average-sized birch tree can draw about 300 liters, 80 U.S. gallons, of water from the soil. That's almost enough water to fill two large bathtubs. Many plants depend on water to disperse their seeds. A coconut, the seed of a palm tree, can spend weeks, months, or even years drifting in the ocean before reaching land and sprouting. The plants you eat are mostly water. Tomatoes are about 95% water. Apples are about 85% water. Seeds are among the driest foods. They contain only 5 to 10% water. Plants at the Well The first plants on Earth began life in the water. Some were washed ashore. At first, they could live only in wet areas. Gradually, they developed root systems that allowed them to tap into water in the soil. Water is essential to plants. In fact, plants are mostly water. It's the water in their cells that gives them their shape and form. Without it, they droop and shrivel. Water also helps plants make food for themselves. Plants use the sun's energy to change water and carbon dioxide into simple sugars that feed the plant. This process is called photosynthesis. Water then helps carry this food throughout the plant. During photosynthesis, plants also release water vapor into the air. Roots absorb water, which is carried to the stem. The stem acts like a water pipe in your house, moving water through the plant to the leaves. From the leaves, water is released back into the atmosphere. This is called transpiration. The water that is transpired is added to the cycle of water on Earth. Water is important to plants, but plants are also important to water. Plant roots anchor soil and stop it from blowing or washing into lakes and rivers. Leaves and branches trap rainwater, allowing it to seep slowly into the soil instead of flowing quickly away. And trees provide shade, which helps keep moisture in the soil. Plants depend on water from the well for survival, and the well depends on plants to help move water through its cycle. Without plants, the water cycle would be disrupted. Without water, plants could not survive. Animals at the well Like plants, animals, including you, are mostly made of water. The water in animals is very important. It carries nutrients, helps digestion, removes waste, controls temperature, cleans eyes, and lubricates oils, joints. Water habitats are also home to many of Earth's animals and are where many animals find their food. Watery species, such as fish, crabs, shrimp, and zooplankton, are an important part of food chains around the world. A food chain is the link that connects animals and other species based on who eats whom. Without water-based species, food chains and food webs, collections of food chains, would collapse. Animals would starve. Animals not only need water to survive, they are also part of the water cycle. Animals add water to the atmosphere by breathing, sweating, and even drooling. The water you brushed your teeth with today may have been the spray of a beluga whale 10 years ago. Some of the wettest animals on Earth are the jellyfish. They are about 95% water. Frogs and earthworms are about 80% water, while dogs, elephants, and humans are about 70% water. People at the Well since the beginning of time, people have depended on water for drinking, for food, for bathing, and for watering their crops. Water has always provided a highway to move people and products from place to place. As cities and societies grow, so does their need for water. 
Today, water is essential in our homes, in industry, and in agriculture. At home, we use water for cleaning, cooking, drinking, flushing toilets, and for bathing. But homes account for only 10% of all the fresh water used. About 21% of the water we use goes to make everything from computers to cars. Water is used in hydroelectric plants to generate electricity, and in petroleum plants to make gas. In factories, water is used to heat things up or cool things down and to wash away waste. Water vapor, steam, even runs machinery. Water is also an ingredient in many products such as lotions, shampoos, chemicals, and drinks. The remaining 69% of the fresh water we use goes into agriculture. Farms use huge amounts of water for crops and livestock. Look around. Almost everything you see was made using water. It took about 130 liters, 34 U.S. gallons of water, to make your bike. Water was used to grow and make the food you eat and the clothes you wear. Water was even used to make the paper for this book and the ink used to print the words. It takes about 185 liters, 49 U.S. gallons of water, to produce just one glass of milk. This includes the water the cow drinks, the water used to grow food for the cow, and the water needed to process the milk. About 147,000 liters, 38,800 U.S. gallons of water, was needed to make your family's car. A lot of water is required to produce the food you eat. Approximately 5,200 liters, 1,375 U.S. gallons of water, is needed just to make one fast food lunch, burger, fries, and a soda. In North American homes, the bathroom is where about three-quarters of all water is used. One flush of the toilet uses nearly 13 liters, three and a half U.S. gallons. Nearly a billion people around the world depend on fish as their primary source of protein. Thirsty? People drink an average of two and a half liters, two-thirds U.S. gallons, of water a day. In your lifetime, you will drink the equivalent of a backyard swimming pool full of water.